Hey guys, my name's Hutch, and I make videos and put them on the internet. And last week I was lucky enough to be invited out to a studio, or an Ubisoft studio in San Francisco to play Ghost Recon Wildlands. This is a game that I've been stoked about since I saw the E3 reveal from either last year or the year before, I can't even remember. But um, yeah, this is a paid advertisement, just so you guys know, they, uh, they approached me and asked me if I wanted to participate in this campaign. And because I love this series, or because I have... Uh, a really fond experience with this series, I should say, I immediately jumped on the chance. And the, and the trailer looked incredible. It's worth mentioning now that you can find a link in the description of this video that will uh, give you a lot more information on the game. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about what's going on in the game right now. And yeah, so the reason why I just corrected myself a minute ago uh, when I said that I love the series is that I, I missed um, Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. I didn't get in on that game. I had a bunch of, of friends who played that game religiously. I know that it had uh, a base that was really hardcore and die hard um, but yeah I missed that but one of the first one of my first experiences with any kind of tactical shooter kind of game was uh, well first of all it was Rainbow Six back on PC when I was like a freshman in high school so that must have been 98 99 something like that and then after that I actually I had a GameCube when I was right out of college so I was about 20 years old, 19 years old, and one of the games that I bought for that was uh, Ghost Recon 2. And I had a blast with that game. And th like the basic premise of that game, it doesn't seem like too complicated now, but you had this group of AI squad with you wherever you went when you were going on these missions. And um, uh, you got to command them, you got to tell them to stay, you got to tell them to attack, you got to tell them to follow you. And you know th all that all that seems like really run of the mill now, but back then it was it was really really kind of gr groundbreaking stuff, and um, certainly stuff that I had never been exposed to before. And it was a lot of fun. That series was a lot of fun. And I can't I I personally I can't just play one type of game for too long, otherwise I will get insanely bored. So as much as I love strict kind of first person shooter games, I really also love any game that involves a deeper level of tactics or strategy and uh, and and Ubisoft is just kinda like always been one of those game studios for me that scratched that itch with series like Splinter Cell and Rainbow Six um, I never got into Assassin's Creed but I know a lot of people that really dug it too but just stealth strategy planning kind of just not just running in there and uh, and uh, blowing everything up is um, that's something that to me as a gamer I derive a lot of satisfaction from. So fast forward to 2017, I haven't played a tactical shooter type game in quite a while and then they announced this, uh, Ghost Recon Wildla Wildlands takes place in South America this time, in Bolivia. You have this drug cartel called the Santa Muertos or something like that, what is it? Let me look it up. Uh, Santa Blanca drug cartel and they basically become so powerful that they own like government and media and they're just running the show down there. So they send in uh, they send in US, U.S. special forces and boom we're down there to intervene. That's the basis for this game, which to me is exciting. I haven't I haven't played I haven't played a game uh, set in this in this country yet uh, uh, in this kind of setting either. So it's for me it's pretty fresh. I don't know of any other games that did that yet. I'm sure some exist, but this is the first time I played one. Uh, that took place here and if you've been living under a rock for a while you haven't seen anything about this game uh, I, I, I think it should be pretty obvious by the gameplay on the screen that it's a it's an open-world sandboxy tactical shooter so it's not just um, go from one town to the next to the next to the next you kind of get to pick and decide which route you want to go they have main storyline arcs but you can also fast travel to other areas do side missions talk to NBC NPCs pick up new missions um, and it's huge like they only let us play in I think one or no two two different spots on the entire map And uh, I got to pull up the map I can't show you guys on the screen But I got to pull up the map and see just how big it was it was huge like these two spots that we played in were I mean they were pretty big when you zoom in on them, but when you zoom out they made up maybe a like a lot. like don't don't quote me on this one But I want to say it was 10 to 20 percent of the entire map maybe even less like there were like eight or nine other totally separate areas that they had locked off so it's gigantic and the world is pretty like this isn't some post-apocalyptic shooter where everything's, everything's kind of dreary and drab you have like a beautiful climate beautiful setting the sunrise the sunset um, it, 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 it's a very inviting environment you want to be or I found as a player I wanted to be in this world kind of just exploring and looking at things especially when you get up in things like helicopters and you can see things from up above and from a distance really thought they nailed the general look of this game because it made me want to go back in and play. 
Now, as far as how the game plays, you can just go in guns blazing. So let's say you have a mission, you end up at one of the cartel's bases, and there's like 20 bad guys there. You can just kind of just drive your car in into the middle of the base, pull out your gun, and start shooting. You're probably not going to do very well if you do that, but you can do that, especially with co-op. Like, there's just a lot more opportunities. You can play this game co-op. You can play this game with three friends and boom. Uh, but But it is a lot more rewarding to go in post up send in your drone to kind of scout out the area see where all the enemies are at and then make a plan of attack and go in it that way i'm not very good at it, as you guys can see in the uh in the gameplay that you're watching right now but i imagine with enough time uh on the sticks with this game it would start to be a little bit more uh uh intuitive for me to figure out ways in which to approach or attack a base uh, and do it kind of like one section at a time so as not to alert the entire base because as fun as that is, I think for me personally, it's a lot more rewarding when you can uh, take out an enemy base of like 50 people without alerting a single guard. That to me is a lot of fun and it's it's really hard actually. <laughs> so bearing in mind that this is a work in progress build, which means you might see something in the full game that you don't see here and you might see something here that you don't see in the full game or you might you might see some kind of a bug. I, don't, I didn't run into too many bugs when I was playing it. Um, but bearing those things in mind, I want to know, what do you guys think of this game? Are you guys as, as excited as I was when it was announced at E3? Are you even more excited now that you're seeing this gameplay starting to roll out? I, I'm going to tell you now, I would not tell you this if I did not believe it, and I would not sign up to do a campaign with a game that I was not excited for. Uh, but this game, after sitting down and playing it for about five hours, has me very, very legitimately excited. This is easily a game that I could see playing with uh, three of my pals to an obsessive degree. I don't have the kind of time that I had back uh, when some other games were launched and I was playing them like 18 hours a day, but this game is, is one of those games I'm going to want to binge uh, for uh, a little bit. So are you guys with me on that one? Yes or no? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.